We've seen the input box in action, and you can see that we can pretty much type anything we like into there, and then interrogate that and use it at will. We could use an input box to ask a user for a range of cells that they would like to work on. It would be fine. However, if they didn't type in a valid range, it wouldn't quite work. What would be quite useful and very nice is if they could highlight the range and the input box pick up that selection. Well, it can if we use the input box method of the application object. A clever little use of the input box, but as a sub method for the application object. Let's see how we can get that to work. We're in a blank file here. I'm going into the code, we're going to insert a new module because we need to create a new sub procedure. I'm going to call it sub select range. And the first thing we need is we need a variable to hold the range in that we're going to select. So dim z as range. Because we now know how to deal with errors. We're going to add a little error statement. One error, resume next. And you remember from before that that's not the best error trapping statement because it just moves past the error onto the next thing. But it's fine for now. Then we need to effectively gather the range from an input box. So we'll say set z equal to. Now you'll remember that I just mentioned it was a method of the application object. So we need to say application dot input box. You can see there it is as a method. Open brackets, prompting text. Select or range. Comma. Title, this is a little bit that goes across the top of the box instead of Microsoft Excel. I'm just going to put select in there. We don't want to set a default. We don't want to set the left position, the top position, a help file or a help context ID. But we do want to set the type. Type needs to be eight if we want to allow a selection to be made. So we close the brackets. And that little clever input box with its parameters, the eight being very important, is what will make the input box allowable to select the cells behind it. And then we need to check what's been selected. So if Z is nothing, and then, so if they don't actually select anything, we'll use one message box, we'll just use the statement. So it's just going to say, you have selected nothing else. And another message box statement, you have selected. We'll even use the range that they've selected to prove we know what they've picked up. So Z being a range object has its own set of properties and we're after the address. And don't forget your end if for your if statement. So we create a variable, which is a range object to hold whatever gets highlighted. We're going to pick that up from an input box and using this type equals eight parameter which feeds in effectively telling it to allow it to select a range and then we check z if they've selected nothing you select nothing if they do select something we tell them what they've selected and let's change that to a capital to keep the syntax the same so all we need to do now is trigger our sub procedure which we can do from the immediate window select your range and you can see that mouse will select ranges we we'll click okay you have selected C dollar to F15. If we run that and click cancel, you've selected nothing. That's a clever use of the input box. This allows them to select a range of cells on the currently active sheet.